This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back. This video is all about erosion, what it is, different types, and you can see by these beautiful uh, pictures on the uh, the screen here, you've got uh, the Grand Canyon and the uh, the river that helped to sculpt it. The Colorado you've got beautiful sand dunes. We've got some nice uh, landscape here that's sculpted. Uh, from the wind, we've got some beautiful waterfalls and the action of water, nice little uh, turbulent rapids on the left, and we've got this beautiful um, glacier or glacier, uh, you know, frozen river moving down through gravity very slowly. So these are all kinds of erosion, and this video is going to provide a definition for erosion and also how erosion can be separated from weathering and also how it can be uh, intertwined and interrelated, have a relationship with weathering as a uh, overall process on the Earth's surface, and look at the different erosional agents or types of erosion that we get on this planet to create these beautiful um, landscapes, terrains, and natural features that we're seeing in these pictures. So what is erosion? So erosion is de defined as the removal of weathered material all right uh, so we can do sediment and the transportation of that weathered material all right so of there and then obviously through various time and through various obviously locations from the point of removal right of removal to the point of what we call deposition and deposition is where whatever is carrying the removed weathered material or sediment is going to literally drop that sediment in a certain location um, at a certain time and it will accumulate where it's been deposited so these can actually form different environments by themselves through the dropping of this sediment in large quantities generally. So this could be like a river delta, a tidal delta or tidal flat. This could be a, 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 a marshland, a swamp, it could be a floodplain, it could be uh, an alluvium fan. So all these different environments could be even a sand dune. Uh, it could be as simple as an avalanche um, and moving of snow and rock. So all these examples are are like um, depositional environments that we can discuss but be careful it is the transportation after the material rock material from the surface has been weathered so it is kind of like a secondary process which needs to be acting on after weathering has occurred so the first process really is weathering and a lot of students occasionally get this confused or flipped over in reverse and think that it's, you know, the the erosion is the actual removing and the breaking down of the rock, but it's actually the transportation of that. And the different types, we call them agents. So how the material gets transported, we call this agents. All right, so these are the four types of erosional agents we have. Now, some uh, books, such as research might say there's three or there's five or there's six but i've chosen these four as uh very broad uh topics that we can kind of break down into different uh subcategories or subcomponents uh in the later date now each of these uh four agents uh there's separate videos on these so please check them out on the channel and it gives more detail about each of these original agents, locations, processes, and features. So wind, all right, so this is called Aeolian, or occasionally spelt E-O-L-I-A-N. And this is basically sediment transported in the wind, either across the ground, or it's gonna be in suspension, depends on the wind's direction, wind's uh, speed, and obviously the consistency and obviously which kind of landscape it's going to uh, blow over. Um, it's more of a flatter landscape, more hilly or, or a terrain or relief changes. Gravity, that is to do with mass movements. 
okay and obviously the force of attraction to the center of the earth which is 9.8 meters per second uh, squared which is acceleration and obviously how based on you know things like slope and gradient will influence or control the speed or the extent of this movement down um, uh, under the force of gravity now ice and water now you can argue that we can put these together in one topic however they are very large topics themselves and I like to separate them as to make it easier to discuss with students in the classroom and not get too confused because there are obviously a lot of different uh, components to the water uh, erosional agent for example you can discuss the fluvial systems and streams and you can discuss even the water flow through soils and uh, the percolation into groundwater and the flow of groundwater and you know taking away uh, sediment uh, to create voids and caves and caverns and sinkholes and you can even look at um, you know the movement of the ocean currents waves which is obviously derived from the wind um, and deep water circulation how the oceans would transport the uh, sediment and then looking at the different areas on the coastlines where the uh, rivers and oceans meet or seas inland seas meet even discuss lake transport of sediment uh, longshore drift I mean the, the list goes on and on so I have to separate it so it's easier for the students to understand but ice ice is to do with glaciers glaciers or if you're in the UK a glacier now I grew up saying glacier and obviously being in the US I, I change and, and say uh, glacier so basically I speak two languages you know English from the UK and American so obviously the movement of the frozen river based on temperature and the amount of water at the base the basal flow the basal friction the temperature will dictate the speed of the glacier and obviously gradient and how much sediment is uh, transported and then deposited and there are lots and lots and lots of features of how where and when the glacier is going to deposit its material its load its sediment uh, thus creating lots of features and I even discuss the ice ages and ice caps as well so there you have it that is the four main types of original agents working on the earth's surface now erosion again is the transportation and the removal of weather material uh, from one location to another location and using these four agents wind gravity ice and water to do so and thus creating beautiful landscapes like our grand canyon like us like our uh very sand dunes and rivers and and uh, arid um landscapes and all these things created by beautiful erosion and the movement this is the earth science classroom thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the content uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you again